Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you my modified test bed. Now with a brand new Asus Sabertooth P67. Make sure you check out my review on my channel on this motherboard. So I'm going to get a, a fair few new things for this. Um, get some new memory, 8 gig that, that actually matches the board nicely and I'll probably be um, getting a 560 Ti to run in this test bed as a permanent card so at the moment as you can see SLI GTX 460s I'll just go over the specifications um, a 2600K uh, 4 gig of G skill 1600 megahertz a one terabyte caviar black and that's a SATA 3 drive and a NMX Revolution 1250 watt power supply now the CPU is cooled by um, a Danger Den triple radiator water box which I'll show you in a second those temperatures there, the 31 degrees is the coolant temperature and the 30.3 is the ambient temperature in this room um, so as you can see, Swiftec Apogee XT water block. I'll be replacing that with an EK um, Supreme HF soon. So I'll just show you the. Oh, that's a um, Banchetto 101 test bed. It's actually got a spot for a radiator in the back of it, which is pretty cool. So just um, running a Black Widow and a Rocket Kern Plus. So this is the um, the whole setup. Now onto the water box. That's the decal that comes with the motherboard. Dust filters on the front. As you can see, they're a bit dusty. And uh, just get a bit of light around here. Cool, it needs a bit of a top up. It's because this is quite new. I've only topped it up once so far. So, dual MCP655s with the bits power top and also bits power mod kits. Animax Magma fans and the radiators are all 360mm um, Black Ice SR1s and that's a Danger Den radiator reservoir. The tubing and coolant is Feza 1 UV and all the fittings are Bits Power Black Sparkle. There's a couple of shining silver mixed in. Coolant's quick disconnects there and two more coolant's quick disconnects there. So I'm going to be doing a whole lot of testing, overclocking with this board soon. Make sure you watch out for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys.